So there's two wide receiver contracts. Let's keep going with this theme. Mike Williams, speaking of you, Hayden, incredible call prior to last year. He's back with the Los Angeles Chargers, three years, $60 million contract. As you said, the same exact one, basically, as Amari Cooper signed. Granted, Williams has guarantees in his contract. Amari no longer does. But hey, it's an outside wide receiver who Tom Telesco, Brandon Staley went out there and said, this is our vertical playmaker. So at the very least, Hayden, he's going to keep the same exact role he had last year. The spiked weeks at the start of the season were incredible. It forced everyone to be like, holy shit, this guy's amazing. Trailed off, tailed off just a little bit. Your expectations now for Mike Williams back with Justin Herbert and Keenan Allen. Super high. I'm my two favorite things, Mike Williams and better in best ball points. This is where they collide. He was 33rd overall in better in best ball points per game because he is that spiked weak player. Keenan Allen is kind of low key on the decline just a little bit. And Mike Williams, they gave uh, a ton of money to, I mean, $20 million a year is no joke. Um, he's obviously going to be a focal point. It's not just the downfield stuff last year. His role changed just because they brought in the new offensive coordinator kind of throws him into the Michael Thomas role. Um, but when you got Justin Herbert and just bombs away, I think Mike Williams is the one. In fact, I'm going bold here and I actually Ooh. have Mike Williams ranked ahead of Keenan Allen. They're both in the forties for me. I'm going to be fading Keenan Allen and buying Mike Williams. Even last year in this, the one metric better in best ball points per game, Mike Williams, 33rd overall Keenan Allen 61st overall. And that's because Keenan Allen doesn't have as many spiked weeks, just the way the role that he plays. I think that Mike Williams has top 15 wide receiver potential again. And he's somebody that everyone doesn't like just because they remember the inconsistent stuff, but that's why we play a little bit of best ball and we don't have to worry about that. Okay. For the people at home, I'm going to act like you in this judge jury trial room situation we're talking about. Okay. Mike Williams to start the season, 18 fancy points, 18 fancy points, 29 fancy points. Then after that, oh, yeah. 1.6, another spike week, 32.5, but then three, three, seven, Five, it was really inconsistent for the next, I don't know, 12 weeks of the year. Who is he? Can we expect more consistency than that for the people out there? Because in this format that we play in, we'll take that all the time if he's going out there and putting up 30, 30, 19 point weeks because we don't have to worry about when starting him in best ball. But I know some people will be scared off by the inconsistency. Well, I think the some of the inconsistency is priced in. He's going 60th overall, and I just said he finished 33rd uh, last year. So I think there's already a discount. And just you got to think about it, not just Mike Williams. You got to think about the team that you're going to be drafting when you draft a guy like Mike Williams. I want Justin Herbert. Like, breaking news, Justin Herbert, very good. Mike Williams, very good. I want to kind of keep those two correlated. So I think that Keenan Allen's getting drafted pretty much at his ceiling at this point in his career. Keenan Allen's dealt with injury history. He can be a guy that falls off a cliff at any point, just given the, the age curve. And the Chargers' number three receiver might be Josh Palmer. They might try to find somebody, but I think that they're not going to overspend um, at that position. I think they have bigger issues on defense, um, particularly in the secondary, that I think they're going to be super aggressive on. And I think that they're just going to let Mike Williams cook. They obviously have a huge plan for him. Giving him $20 million a year, I think was a little bit more money than people were expecting, but... Um, I think you have to live with the the inconsistencies. A lot of the people being drafted next to him aren't consistent players either. Like why, boom, bust wide receiver three is just yeah. how it goes. Like he's being drafted next to freaking Marquise Brown, Mr. Consistency, uh, Darnell <laughs> Moody, Mr. Consistency, Michael Thomas, also so consistent. These are the type of guys he's being drafted around. This is just what you live with. Yeah. That's a good way of putting it. Like we love Michael Pittman. We love Chris Godwin. As talents, there's obviously some questions associated with both those. One, Michael Pittman doesn't have a quarterback, as we're talking about right now. And Chris Godwin's coming off a major injury, and so is Michael Thomas. He didn't even play last season. Then you mentioned some of the names after him. I mean, Gabriel Davis is going about seven spots after. And I understand everyone wants to dive into the Gabe Davis pool of a huge breakout season in 2022. It might absolutely happen. But guess who already has a breakout season in their back pocket, and we just saw it. And it's in Mike Williams. I know he's going ahead of him, but it's in the same range, right? S scroll up. Devontae, uh, Devonta Smith, who I love. I love Devonta Smith. Devonta Smith and Amon Ross St. Brown are going ahead of Mike Williams. Neither of them have had the season 
that Mike Williams had and their quarterback situation is just a, a total mess when it comes to passing the ball. So um, I will go down with the Mike Williams, Justin yeah, Herbert stack this year. Come on. Yeah, you will. I am with you that we need one more vertical player on this team to, I think like really take the next step. We love Michael Williams. We love Keenan Allen. I think that's really evident. We absolutely love Austin Eckler. But the games where Justin Herbert was fantastic, obviously, single high stuff, vertical shots, attacking those boundaries from the opposite hash marks that you know other quarterbacks just can't do. They can't make those reads. They can't make those throws. But man, we need something, a little bit more juice to take it up one more notch. And you know where I'm going with this. Like, if we can somehow get Goodwill Fuller back and he's on this roster, like, give me a break. That or, we, or we can go Jamison Williams or Chris Olave as this is true. in the first round, too. I, I think there's there's a couple ways they can figure this out. I do wonder if Josh Palmer's kind of like insurance to Keenan Allen. Remember, when Keenan Allen left that one game, Josh Palmer went in there and kind of ate a little bit. Um, so I think they're going to be in a fine spot. They're going to probably rely on Justin Herbert a little bit more to carry this offense. And they're really going to fix this, this defense. But the good news, you we got Russell Wilson, Derek Carr and Patrick Mahomes in the division. This, this team's going to be putting up a shit ton of points. Hmm. Yeah. I'm just looking at the, the free agent list. Again, you understand why a lot of these teams didn't want to jump in here, dive into this area and instead are just keeping what they, uh, what they already had on their team, because there's not a lot to choose from here. Shark, Gallup, or not Gallup. Uh, How about Fuller, like a Traquan Smith? Throw him out there. In here. MVS? MV, I mean, I, I think MVS, based on these other names. He might get more uh, money. He might He might get a little more money. That's because yeah. he's good. This is, uh, this is Slim Pickens over yeah, there. All right. Bad. We have more wide receiver news, and it's a personal favorite. Fantasy Twitter's favorite. The Bills re-signed Isaiah McKenzie to a two-year eight million dollar contract this was not a full-time player but man i will never be able to erase the 11 reception 125 yard day isaiah mckenzie had against the new england patriots in week 16 of last season i want your thoughts on mckenzie and also what this might mean for cole beasley and the standing of the wide receiver group there in buffalo so we always talk or say money talks. They gave two years, $8 million, which is not necessarily starter money for Isaiah McKenzie, but I'm not sure what his market was going to be. That kind of tells me he's still kind of in this gadget special teams type of role. Oh, but the big thing is it's the Cole Beasley situation and they can easily get out of his contract either via trade or release. They've already uh, gave him permission to seek a trade and usually you don't tell your player you're allowed no, to I didn't go. see that report. Yeah, this was a couple a couple days ago. Oh. 